What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager Save, this is episode number 55. And so we're returning with three games with our cherries as face LASK, the Austrian side in the Europa Conference semi-final. Both legs, first away and at home, and sandwiched in between that, Liverpool away at Anfield, who they themselves are going for the title. Before we get to the games though, shall we be getting on? And of course, in the last episode, you saw us progress through to the semi finals, the Europe Conference League, with our 4-0 win over Standard Liège over two legs, and sandwiched in between that, the 1-0 win against Southampton in the Premier League. Just the one game in the run off camera, so not really a run off camera. Uh, we beat Crystal Palace by a goal to nil at Selhurst Park. This was the game actually that relegated Crystal Palace, as we beat them here in South London, and um, yeah, beat them by a goal to nil. Goran Kowal scoring the only one really uneventful game, to be honest here. Capitalising on a mistake as Sucic rolled in the ball through. So yeah, just a one win. But uh, a nice little streak here for the Cherries in the Premier League and in Europe as well. So right now, we still have that shot of Champions League football, but Destiny is not... Well, I guess technically it is in our own hands, but not really, to be honest. Because we've still got to face Liverpool and Spurs. Both teams right now in the top four and Liverpool going for the Championship themselves. But we've got a game in hand on most teams around us right now. And a win will put us back in the top six. And if we win by enough goals today, we could leapfrog West Ham and go into the top four. But that is incredibly unlikely against Liverpool at the top of the table. Four games to go. Still got to go to Anfield. Still got, still got to play host to Spurs. Top four is doable, but really take it in, in stages. So long as we get fifth or sixth, which guarantees Europa League, that will do me just fine. Skamaka, by the way, one goal clear of Erling Haaland. Is he going to do it? Are we going to see, for the first time in the save, someone other than Erling Haaland win the golden boot? It's all on Skamaka now. Kowal and Kane, they're going to catch up. It's all on the Italian. Can he hold off the Norwegian tank with five games to go? Or four. Or three, depending on who you are. Anyway, um, yeah, so first game of this episode uh, is indeed LASK against semi finals of the Europa Conference League. Like I said before, we are we are firm fairest to win this. We won this two years ago. You know, all three of these teams, I would say, are the strongest sides remaining. Plus RC Lons, who were knocked out by Sassuolo. Sassuolo are the side that I'm most worried about. So if we do make it through to the final, which I do expect us to get past LASK, and I'll be very disappointed if we don't, this will be the toughest opponent we could face in the Conference League. So hopefully Applewell can beat them in the semi, because I, I expect us to beat LASK. Like I said, that would be Austrian League loaded, so of course because of that, most of the players will be generated. Really, this is a competition where I've said it before and I'll say it again. We're too good for our field. Like, if we don't win it, it is a shock, and it's as simple as that. So, heading into the game, uh, it's going to be our 4 3 3 Gigan Press we've been using in a run off camera and for most of the season. And this is our team. Uh, George is in goal. Bafor is Mitchell, Gomez, Mascara, and Aaron's with Tominator, Rusevich, and Radilovic through the middle. Batarina and Sucic are our wingers with Goran Kowal up top. Now has 30 goals for the season in all competitions. On the bench, you've got Ward, Gaza, Smallcomb, Henderson, Forsby, the Chump, Scott, Traore, Soria, the Lat, Watkins, and Mitch Rich as well. First to three, first leg of our semi-final. Get a big first leg result here to take back to the Eddie Stadium, and I'll feel confident we've got one foot in the final. Come on, you cherries. I think the title of my last episode was Arrogant Docs, you know, because I, I know I did come across as quite arrogant, but the, the point is, like, six minutes in, this competition is beneath us, you know, it really does feel like that. It's, it's kind of like if you were to put, like, a... Uh, I don't know, maybe like a Crystal Palace or a ball. Well, I guess we are obviously, you know, that kind of team right now, you know, like a, a mid table team, if you will, or top half team, I suppose, um, in like the, the Papa John's trophy. Do you know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't be like the beyond the realms of possibility to not win it. But let's be honest here if you would put Crystal Palace in the Papa John's trophy, if they didn't win that competition, it would be a shock. There's no other way of putting it. So. Right now, you know, we, we just desperately need to become a Europa League team as far as I'm concerned. The Conference League from next season onwards, it's not it's not that I wouldn't want to play it. Because it's still a competition to win. It's still a chance to, to rest your players and, you know, get some experience out there for young players too. But it's a competition which we're too good for. You know, we're just, we're just too good for this level now. We are a Europa League team, minimum, I feel now. And we need to start making sure we're there year in, year out. As Garang goes for goal and it's two. 24 minutes in. Just, just put us in the final. I feel we're already there. Well, if you can't stop them, injure them. That's the uh, the game plan from LASK. Radilo, which goes down with a potential foot injury. I uh, hope just a bruised ankle or something. Uh, let's just bring on Henderson. I mean, no point in 
bring on any of my stars here as we tune it up. But half an hour in, and um, yeah, in complete control. But yeah, that's the best way of describing this competition. It's like if you were to put like a uh, you know a Brighton and Ove Albion or an Aston Villa in the Papa John's Trophy. It's like well, you know, it, it wouldn't be beyond the realms possibility for a, for a lower league side to give them a shock. But that's what it would be. It would be a shock if they weren't to win this. Same same with this competition for us. The teams we're facing again, a couple could give us a problem. Sassuolo are the ones I'm worried about, but really, we, we are still the outright favourites. So, just taking my stars off of the break here as we currently lead by two. Really can't see us throwing this one away. Uh, as things stand, in complete control. I haven't actually got the uh, the latest scores on the bottom right there, so I want to see what's going on in that Applewell game. And uh, where are we? What's the latest? Oh, there it is, right there. Uh, yeah, Sassuolo are 2-1 up there. And I, I really do feel, and I felt it three one now. I really have felt ever since the knockout stages that us and Sassuolo, we're like we're the, we're the two teams. Let's be honest here, we're the two teams. And yes, like I said, you know, an RC Lons who Sassuolo knocked out, or maybe a Slavia Prague could cause us a problem in a two legged affair. But but really, here us and Sassuolo, if we like, we both looked at each other as if to say, like me and whoever Sassuolo's managers, we were like, yeah, we we're, we're going to the final, mate. We'll see you there. You know what I mean? 23 minutes to go. We're leading by two. And really, we should find a third goal at some point. This tie already feels as though it is ours to squander. Here's the mental man through to Mitrovic and the Serbian. Back to Joe Gomez as we still lead by two. The only negative tonight has been that injury for Vladan Radilovic as we look for a third goal to wrap this game up. Here's Alexander Sucic through ball. There's Forsby and Morton Forsby get to rare goal. Will it stand though? It, no, it's been disallowed. It doesn't count. Well, LASK have got a chance here to possibly get back in the tie. I'm not worried, it's it's 2-1, but wow, LASK. Did you just see that down the bottom first goal in 38 games? <laughs> now that is embarrassing. LASK get one back, but I'm I'm not too concerned about this. We've been in control for the most part. Corner, Bournemouth, get a third goal, and that'll kill any glimmer of hope. LASK of getting back in this tire, I feel, as Forsby knocks on to Sucic, and Sucic bends one into the top corner, and that'll do it. I wasn't worried. Lovely finish from Luca. 3-1 Bournemouth. Any kind of chance of us losing our lead from tuning up that's now gone. I want to see that on a 3D as well, because that, that seems to go in slow motion there. Tyrek Mitchell takes a corner, which, because of my graphics, looks as though the ball was played back to him. And that's actually a glorious strike from Luca. What a player he's been for us this year. Obviously, it was Luca Romero last season who we lost in the January window. We struggled to replace him. We've replaced one Luca with another. And this, and this Luca, to be fair, has been, I'd say, just as good, if not better, than the Argentine. He's been really impressive in his debut year. And here he is again. Forced me through to him. Cuts it back. And Mitrich makes it four. Luca, magic. Two goals and an assist tonight. Nicely done, boys. Shame we lose our clean sheet streak here in Austria with the only shot on target. But really, not one bit concerned. Very dominant and controlled display. And we've now got one foot in the final, no doubt about it. As I said earlier in the game, like me, me and Sassuolo's manager, I don't know who it is. I want to see after the game, actually. We, we were like, yeah, let's be honest here. We, it's just two week injury for Rano. It's not too big of a deal. It's it's just like, we kind of expected this. Do you know what I mean? We both won 4-1 in our legs. Oh, it's Koku, the, uh, the Dutch legend, Philip Koku. We, we both looked at each other and were like, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the final. <laughs> you know, the chance of us not getting there was so unlikely. We'll, we'll meet you in Hungary. Well, is it Hungary? Romania. We'll meet you in Romania. So, just before our clash on Sunday away at Anfield, um, some fixtures to keep your eyes on on Saturday afternoon. As you can see, Chelsea own to Man City, and hopefully Klopp's side can do us a favour there as they're going for the title. And really, they have to win all three of their games now to have a chance. Manchester United own to Brighton, who have risen from the dead, but Brighton need to win that game, but I still can't see them getting a point at Old Trafford. And also West Ham are away at Wolves. West Ham, I've started a little bit recently and Spurs are at home to Everton. So what we'll do is we'll process through these games together and see if we can get some favours. And Lord knows we'll need them because, you know, I said before, I, I, I can't see us beating both Liverpool and Spurs. Norwich at home and Leicester away. Yeah, I fancy that against two struggling sides, but I can't see us winning four straight. So we're going to make it now. We need slip-ups from the teams above us. So let's process through together on the Saturday. And fingers crossed, we'll see Brighton pull off a mad one and get a victory at Old Trafford. West Ham falter again and slip up against Wolves. But no, my luck. All those teams around the table are going to win like three or four nil each. So processing through. 
And I, I, I feel as though if we don't get favours done today, we're going to make it. So Chelsea beat Man City 3-0. Brilliant. Manchester United beat Brighton 5-1. Brilliant. Spurs beat Everton 1-0. Brilliant. And West Ham beat Wolves 2-1 as well. So I didn't get a single favour from those teams there. Oh, God. So Liverpool could actually win the title tomorrow as well. Uh, if they, well, not, not win it, but all but win it if they win tomorrow as well. We are making top four. Forget about it. Oh, this really winds me up. This is something that I hope that um, FM change in future versions of uh, of the game. Um, I'm signing some of what were our uh, our youth candidates to the under 18s just to make sure we got enough players in the under 18s and we don't have generated players. Even though it's not really that big of a deal, I'd still prefer to have actual. Um, well, I mean they're all generated, Doxy boy, aren't they? But you know what I mean. I'd, I'd prefer to have players who. You know, we, we could use, if you will, if that makes sense. And, you know, apparently the board, uh, the fans are angry about it. It's an under-18 on 180 grand a week on a two-year deal. It's not a big... No one cares. It's not even the sort of thing that would get announced on the club website, I think. Um, oh, I ain't done my team yet. Hold on a second. Right, then, here we go. It is the second game of free today. I probably will play that Thursday night game, but just show you the goals in that one and not any other highlights, just so we can see if it is going to be us versus Sassuolo in the final for sure, as I expect it to be. So we have to win this game, otherwise our Champions League dream style tonight. Thanks very much to the other teams who failed to do us any favours yesterday whatsoever. And this will be our line. George Zingal, Bafor is now small guy, Mia Drag, Mascara, and Arrows in the midfield trio is McTominay, Urusevich, and Scott. Batterina is Sujit, Tremaine on the wings, and Garang is, of course, up top. On the bench, you've got Ward, Gaza, Gomez, Mitchell, Forsby, Traore, Soria, Delap, and Mitrovic as well. Failed to win this against the side going for the title, and any chance top four has officially gone. Come on, you cherries. Actually, um, I think Liverpool could win the title today. My maths is so bad, I, uh, I think they could be crowned champions with a win. So, you know, that's nice. Extra motivation for them as well. Obviously, we beat them in the uh, the Carabao Cup final when Gallardo decided to play the 19-year-old under-21s goalkeeper ahead of Alisson. But, uh, yeah, some, something tells me that we're going to come up short in this one, I'm afraid. I can't see Liverpool bottling the title here at Anfield. <laughs> you know, I just can't see it happening, unfortunately. So, well, I said it. I said it. The route to the Champions League does not come via the top four for this Bournemouth side. It comes via winning the continental competition. Just grand cool. It's just Mr. Sitter. Flag stayed down. We will get a better chance than that. And he put it wide. What a chance. What a chance, and it fell to the right man as well. Went for the dink, and in the end put it wide. Great start by Bournemouth, though. Putting the pressure on Liverpool here. Batterin down left-hand side, crosses, and Suchic hammers home. And instead, it's going to go down as an own goal. Bournemouth in front, and totally against everyone's expectations. Urasevich does really well to rob Harvey Elliott there. He's so physically imposing. Urasevich, for those that may not notice this, is... <laughs> second did he just i think he just put in the ball i say this all the time you gotta take the 3d match and you're a pinch of salt but i'm pretty sure he just <laughs> <laughs> oh why i'm sorry that is just the stupidest thing i have ever seen in an FM highlight, I say this all the time. You gotta take the match and you up in yourself. He just smashed it. Who was he complaining to? That is hilarious. As Harvey Elliott's shot is deflected and tipped behind by Manuel Dashvili. Like, I, I thought it was like a deflection of a Sujit. He literally just levered it with as much power as possible. Now, I tell you what, Ivan Tony's got a bet on this game. He and Manu Sanchez were exchanging a few WhatsApp messages pre-game, I think. That, that was ridiculous. So as things stand, we're leading and we're going to cut the gap. Oh, it's battery and fizzes one wide to one between us and the top six. We'll also have a game in hand as well. And we'll still only be three points behind West Ham. This is the most difficult fixture of our final four as well. If we can hold on to this... There's, there's there's a chance, and Destiny is technically in our own hands. So, Carabao Cup final, Gallardo opts for a 19-year-old goalkeeper to make his senior debut, and we put four past him on our way to lifting the trophy. 
And in this game here, they're going to clinch the title at Anfield. And Manu Sanchez has just blasted the ball into his own goal from four yards out. I'm wondering whether Gallardo is match fixing here, you know, because this is a bit strange, I've got to say. Guys, back to Mia Drag as we still lead by a goal. Do you feel playing some really good football out there as well? As Aaron slides through Sucic, Manu Sanchez to beat. He's dived in. Oh, he's, I'll tell you what, Manu Sanchez right now is throwing this game. He is throwing this game, trips up Sucic, and born with a pen. Garan Kowal. Our top scorer to make it 2 0 Bournemouth is denied by Alisson. And Liverpool are still in it. Manu Sanchez did not look happy about that. <laughs> Cameras panned to the Spanish left back who was not happy with his goalkeeper for saving that pen. He's like, mate, I've got 50 grand riding on this game. Still the lead is won, and we spurned a golden chance to make it two. Liverpool will score tonight, so that's a, that's a huge missed pen from Kowal. So I've got to say, right now, I'm pleased with how we're playing out there. We've had more of the ball, we've had more shots, we've had the only one on target. We missed the penalty, of course. That was that shot on target, funnily enough. But even so, we're, we're doing really well out there. I fancy our chance to get a second goal there. Still leading by one, but can Liverpool find their leveller? They can. Ibrahim Okonate heads home that free kick. That is so frustrating, man. Oh, Garang. I can count on one hand the amount of games he's played poorly this season. But unfortunately, in the biggest remaining game for us, as things stand, that that is such a shame for him to miss that penalty as Liverpool look to get themselves in front for the first time. Cross deflected. Salah turns home. And the comeback complete in three minutes. What a throw away from Bournemouth. Oh, we have absolutely bottled this, honestly. Could have gone tuning up from the spot, and now we're 2-1 down. I, I still trust us to get one more chance, because we played some decent football out there, to be fair. But so frustrating. Honestly, we go 2 it up. I think we see this game out instead now. This is Liverpool's to lose. Still 17 minutes on the clock, and still time for Bournemouth to extend the unbeaten run. McTominay, the captain, over the top. There he is, that man. Cool! Just hasn't been on it today. Missed two one-on-ones, fired them wide, and missed a penalty as well. It's been a rare off game from Kowal. There's Batterina fires just wide. Come on, it's not over yet. When we look back at the end of the season and we ask ourselves, why did we not finish in the top four? Because this game will all confirm it now. This game and the Arsenal game are the two games I'll point out and say, well, that's the reason why. That's six points dropped there because if you remember against Arsenal, we were in complete control and then Georgie did that silly come out with the ball about 40 yards from goal with two defenders on hand to clear it. And in the end, Arsenal turned the game on its head. And this game, leading by a goal, could have gone two not from the spot and lost it in three minutes in the second half. Six points dropped and those six points will probably be enough for us to be in the top four. This game and the Arsenal game, these are the reasons why we're not going to qualify for the Champions League. So frustrating. Scott, Batarina, Mitrovic, I think he was off. I don't think that's going to count. Alexander taps home, but that ain't going to stand. Surely not. Looked about a yard offside to me there, Alexander. And yep, indeed, it's been disallowed. I say it all the time, but if I can see it, just take my word for it. I don't even need to see the replay. That was well offside. Well, there we go. Bournemouth, despite playing quite well, have bottled it. Absolutely bottled it. Missed a penalty when we were one nil up. Garang missed two one-on-ones and from 12 yards. And we threw the game away in three minutes. Disappointing that, lads. Disappointed. And this is the reason why we're not going to qualify with the Champions League. We can beat your Crystal Palaces. We can beat your Leicesters. We can beat your Norwiches. But we cannot win consistently against the traditional top six. That's it. That's it now. Liverpool champions, but Bournemouth aren't going to finish in the top four. So, third and final game, I'll get through this quite quickly, unless it's a real shock, but it's the second leg of the semi against LASK, where, like Sassuolo, we have a 4-1 lead heading home, and, you know, me and Philip Koku, like we said before, we, we both know we're probably meeting in Romania for the final, so yeah, 4-3-3, 11 change, 10 change throw, with Georgie still starting to decide, Henderson, by the way, just went down in training, and may well have played his last game for this season, but yeah, this will be our team, and I feel very confident we'll be celebrating a place in the final, come the end of 90 minutes. So George Zingal, back four is now Mitchell, Gomez, Garza and Forsby. With the midfield trio being Sharan, Chump and Traore. Soria and Fernandez, the young Argentines on the wings and Mitch Rich will lead our line. On the bench you've got Ward, Torre, Collis, Smallco, McTominay, Scott, Batterina, Sujic, Simic, Delab and Go uh, Kowal and uh, Watkins as well. Third and final game but I'll, I'll try and get through this quite quickly because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a straightforward win. Come on you Charis.
I'm absolutely fuming that we threw that Liverpool game away, man. Like, seriously, knowing there was still a chance we could maybe finish in the top four, how we held on to that win and absolutely bottled it. So, so frustrating, you know, honestly. But again, you know, I, I said this, you know, I said this, like, we're not we're not there yet. We can't go to an Anfield or an Etihad and expect to win, you know. Just a point is a bonus at this start, at this part of the stage, really. We're not there yet. We, we are getting there, slowly but steadily, but we're not there yet. We've got to be honest here. There's Gaza, plays it through to Traore, and let's get ourselves that goal to wrap this tie up tonight. Fernandez, Mitrovic, there it is. 11 for the year for the Serbian, and that will do it. Soria by the byline, back to Tyrek Mitchell. Oh, and Soria crosses, and uh, Mitrovic heads and finds the bottom corner. Good advantage played by the referee. Could have been the free kick of the book in there, but played advantage, and Mitrovic gets yet another goal. He's got 12 of the season now. Practically all of them are coming in this competition. All right, then let's get Mitrovic that match ball, shall we? Soria selflessly finds Alexander, and would he claim that one? No, it's gone down as an own goal. So the wait for that hat trick continues. That would have been, I think, his 10th goal in Europe this season. As he tries to win that goal. It's, it's funny. I think he and Domenico Berardi are the top scorers in this competition. They've been so hard to stop. But we've had the same scoreline in the semi in both legs. We, we are just both the outright favourites this competition. We might as well have even played the knockout stages. Well, there it is. I said that us and Sassuolo were the two favourites for this competition. And shot Cora, we will both meet in the final. With the exact same scoreline in both the first leg and the two leg. 4-1 away and then both winning comfortably 3-0 at home as well. So, Philip, I'll meet you in Bucharest, mate. We are heading to Romania for the final together as we are both the favourites for that one. No real surprise. It is exactly what we were expecting. How are they getting on in the league right now? Ninth in the Serie A. So they'll need to win that in order to finish. with. Oh, they, they can't make it now either. Ten points round. They have to win to be in Euro next season. We're definitely in the Conference League regardless, but they'll have to win to have any chance of playing European football next season. Philip, I'll meet you in the final. Domenico Berardi is still there. He is their star man. And he's the top scorer in this competition with 19 goals and 11 assists in 15 as well. Stopping Domenico will be our goal in that final. But that will end today's episode of the Football Match. So good. a big thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you had them, please do drop a like. So you all have a fantastic day. And um, I think I'm going to return with the finale, to be honest here, because I, I can't see us making it now. We've still got to play Spurs at home as well. We could make top four, but it is unlikely. I think what I'm going to do is come back with, I, I think, Leicester and Sassuolo. If we're still in with a shout after that Norwich game, I might play the Spurs one as well. I'll play the Norwich one off camera. That should be a banker, but... I might do a triple header for the finale or maybe just Leicester and Sassuolo. It depends on what happens after that Norwich game there at the Eddie Howe Stadium. Have a great day regardless though. Much love to you all and I'll see you for the next episode. And um, I assume the finale of this season of the Football Mouse where technically Champions League football is still on the line and another final as well. Very soon.